All right, Greg. You can see the cars going by. That's Lisburn Road, the road we live on up there. But this is the upper bed where we had uh, corn last year. And now I've got beans right here. Actually, two different kinds of green, uh, green beans growing there. And this is uh, melon. And these are spaghetti squash. You can see I got the hills mounted up there a little bit. And I got peas down here. Everything's just starting. It's, it was cold pretty late in the year. Now it said they were bushing peas. They didn't need anything to climb on, but they may end up climbing on the fence. Here we have the sunflower seeds just popping up through the ground. They'll run the whole length of that fence way up high. See, we had this down last year for the corn to grow in rows. And that balled up tarp ground cover up there, I'm going to spread that out up here to cover this row that I may not use. But I may end up putting uh, beets in that row. I'll probably end up planting beets there. Now you can see all these raised beds that I haven't planted yet. This is what my friend's uh, horses gave us. I, think I told you that. Oh, be quiet, Maggie. Maggie protects me from the Pennsylvania white-tailed deer. She hears a deer down there in the woods. That old shed down there my dad built and uh, it's falling apart. We're gonna smash that down and there's a nice little grove down there that we're gonna have a camp, build a campsite on. Maggie's protecting us. So I got a bunch of raised beds here to, the, the box down here fell apart finally. So I'll, rebu I'll rebuild that box there. But I still gotta get something in these beds. That's where I had my peppers last year. This one, we've got uh, flowers, all different kinds of exotic flowers in these two beds. So we'll just have flowers for cutting. Maggie, say hi to Greg. Look how big Maggie got. Hey Maggie. Look here. Look at Uncle Greg. Beverly, Beverly says I'm not allowed to take Maggie along. And I've got a tenant who wants to have her. So. so this bed is filled with flowers too for cutting and bringing inside. And um, Beverly cleaned out these two beds. I need to get a little bit more soil in there. That one's all settled down in. There's our garlic. And here's my peppers. Just got started with the peppers. And I'll get cages around the rest of them too. So, Maggie's a good companion when I'm out in the garden. She just hangs out with me. <laughs> so, quite, a, quite a lot of room here. To plant stuff. I look forward to getting it in shape, tidying up all the rows, cleaning out the aisles, probably uh, fix the fabric like right here, places like that where the fabric busted out and the soil came out. I got to get all that stuff fixed. All right, we'll take you over to the other garden. Stop by the chicken shed here. Let's see what you got. What you hiding there? There's a cup five eggs under her. What you hiding? Nothing there. Move it. Move it. Just one. Okay. Six half dozen eggs out here. But Grayson already Grayson already got eggs this morning, so that's how many more we have. Here's the chicken fence. And this is the area. We got this stuff here. They end up getting out of it, but we saw a Red fox yesterday, I didn't see it, but everybody else did. But this area is fenced in where this high stuff is growing. That's, that's their area. They can hide in that high stuff. Doesn't take long for them to chew that down to nothing. So there's our house. Got fruit trees here. You can see these, um, there's cherry trees and one of the cherry trees doesn't look very good. Peach trees are looking pretty good. 
the little peaches all over. Yeah, we're going to have lots of peaches on this tree. And there's always work to be done. These foundation beds need to get cleaned out and mulched. And over here is our koi pond. Got this beautiful Japanese maple that I brought from my house in New Cumberland. Here's our koi pond. Millions of tadpoles. See, they're all going to be frogs. You really hear the frogs at night. I think these might be the first lilies of the year. This is a weeping larch. I love the new growth on that tree. And this is a dwarf hemlock that's got this a tiny, tiny needle hemlock. That's kind of a cool tree. It's all skinny and that's a real slow growing dwarf evergreen. It's probably 30 years old. And right now the chickens are going wherever they please. I got to button up the fence. This is right outside the back door. This is Beverly's little herb garden. She comes out here and cuts, cuts these herbs. It's in a raised thing I put, I put together for her. And here's the bed where we grow sunflowers. These are all the giant sunflowers that are going to grow up 10 or 12 feet tall. And here's a bed that I worked on the most so far. I got uh, beans that are going to climb this fence and kale growing in front of it. So the beans will shade the kale. And we got our tomatoes in here. And I use these cages one, on, one upside down on top of the other. That gives you six feet. Tie them off with zip ties. And down here we have cucumbers. Climb all over this. Last year we planted its stuff down here and my mom thought it was a weed and pulled it all out. And we've got more beans. It's a different variety of beans growing in here. It'll grow all over that little trellis thing. And then I've got celery growing here. I mixed a whole lot of sand in with the celery. So it's nice and loamy. Then I packed this full of onions. It's not a very big space, but we'll get a bunch of onions out of that. Different variety. These are tomatoes are for canning. It's aroma tomatoes. And I ran a little row of onions in front of the tomatoes. You can see that. And there's a lot of work. Oh, here comes my daughter Emily and grandson Luca. Hey, Emil. Hi. <laughs> That's Luca. He just woke up. Yeah, he was sleeping in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making a video for Greg. He wanted to see the garden. So we got a driveway full. Time to make a big omelet. All right, Greg, see ya. <laughs>